Okay, tax return in the UK from HMRC. It's uh, April 2020 and I've got a letter saying um, we're not sending you the forms anymore. You've got to uh, do it online or download the forms. They're public servants. They're not supposed to make things more difficult. They're supposed to make it easier. Still, there you go. You can't argue with them. I'm on... I'm just going to show you the address of this page that we're on. There we go. Okay. This is the uh, .gov.uk stroke self-assessment. Okay. That's the address. And you come to this. Right. Then you scroll down. Okay. Where's my pen gone? This'll do. And here we got online or download the forms. So I'm just going to go and click on download the forms SA100. Now the previous form they used to send through the post was an SA200. So there's the tax return. Yep. And that's how to fill it in. That's a document. And but that SA100 is not the whole picture. You've also got to include a self in self-employment tax return. There's a full one and there's the short one. So you need to download that form and download that form. Okay, so this one is about you personally and any other income you've got or uh, any interest you've got or all that sort of thing, any debt and all that sort of thing. And this one here is about the self-employment. Okay, and self-employed short is for people who don't earn, I can't remember, but don't earn a huge monster fortune. Okay, self-employed short, there you go. Are we still in the screen? We are. There we go. Yeah, and you've got, like, when do you make your books up to? Yeah, do it do do you do it the end of March or do you do it the end of September or what have you? Annual business turnover below eighty five thousand pounds. There you go. Allowable expenses, okay. If your turnover is below eighty five thousand you only have to put the total of your expenses in the bottom there. You don't have to divide it all up. What else have we got? Right, here's all sorts of extra nonsense, but capital allowances, that's where you put your depreciation for tools and vehicles and stuff like that. Okay, hopefully that's enough. But hopefully that's have been some help to some people. I've known quite a few self-employed people and some of them perfectly good at being self-employed but didn't seem to be capable of doing the account and doing the tax return. Well the rule of thumb is do your accounts once a month and that way it doesn't build up. So at the end of the year you've got 12 lots and you can easily add them all up. You know, do a little bit of the time it makes it easy and then when you get to do your tax return just do it. Don't procrastinate. So if your accounts are all up together you can just go yeah I'll do that half an hour and it's done. Yeah, It's like makes life easier. Don't make it difficult for yourself. Hopefully this has been um, helpful. Catch up with you soon.